How are you even, where are you getting those 20 ton megaliths from? How far do they have to transport? In the case of Gobekli Tepe, not far. How um, far? Oh, hundreds of meters. I've stood on top of one uh, megalith that they partially cut out of the bedrock uh, with the T-shape, but then they found a fault in it and they left it there. Oh. It would have been a 30 ton megalith. They clearly intended to release it from the bedrock, but it had a fault, so they, they left it alone. The quarries, the, the, the issue of the quarries for the rock at Gobekli Tepe is not too big a problem. But the transportation of those? Even the transportation, you get enough people working together and they can and they can move uh, large stones. There's th That's not in dispute, but th that's where the question comes, how do you get enough people together? How do you have the organizational skills? Where do you have the mindset that plans something like this at the beginning? And and that is the problem that is not answered in the case of Gobekli Tepe, that happening suddenly. And what were they using for tools? They're supposed to have just been using stone. There's not supposed to have been any, any metals at that period. Not even brass? Not even brass, not even copper. 